Usually if a guy has the nickname Six Pack, it's how many he drinks on the way to work. But not this guy. This is Ryan Six Pack Lapidat. And uh, love spurred him on at the World Power Lifting Championships. He's a nice Canadian boy. He joins us right now. How are you, Ryan? Not too bad, thanks. How you doing, Mike? Good. Where are you from? I'm from Guelph, Ontario, just about 45 minutes south of Toronto. All right, so you went to the World Power Lifting Championships. That's you, right. You had to deadlift 277 kilograms. For the older folks out there, how many pounds would that be? Um, that is 610 and a half pounds, roughly a little over three times my body weight. Three times your body weight? Well, you're a little chunky, aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, you better, was, uh... you better get you better get your ass to a gym, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, now, you, did you win gold? Um, I did win gold, and it was as close a race um, throughout the whole day. Powerlifting is squats, bench press, and deadlift events, and um, your best bench, squat, and deadlift goes towards your total. So by the end of the day, I was um, still in third place. I was right. never in the lead. And it came down to that very last deadlift. And that's why I had to lift three times my body weight because I was so far behind. Mm. I mean, no one was even looking at me at the end. Tell everybody, this is the nice part of the story. This is the one that caught everybody's attention, Ryan. What was it that gave you the strength to do that last (laughs) lift? Well, I had told my girlfriend's dad two months prior, I was going to win the world championships and I was going to give our kids, our grandkids, everybody a story to look back and be like, that was the day Grandpa won the world championships and proposed to Grandma. It would be uh, like our family fairy tale. Uh, and, um, <laughs> that's nice. and it almost came this close to blow it up in my face until I pulled it out at the very last second. And um, it, was, it was literally, it was do or die. I had never lifted that much before in my life, but I knew if it was going to happen, it was going to happen then, and it didn't matter if it was going to be 600 or 700 pounds. I was All gonna right, lift it. so immediately afterwards, after you caught your breath, you proposed. Was she there? She was. She was there. She would cheer me on. She knew uh, when she see that last deadlift. It looked like it was in slow motion. It was going up so slow. And she was cheering me on, and I was like, you have no idea. <laughs> so afterwards, we went to the hotel room, had champagne, rose petals, The ring was already bought, so I was already sold that this was going to happen. All right, now you're calling us. You're calling us, of course, from prison because she said no and you shot her, and that's the part of the story that makes me very, very sad. Right? No, of course she said yes. She said yes. She said yes. She was overwhelmed. Um, She couldn't believe the pressure I put on myself. I told her I said, you know, leading up to was a great idea. The day of when I wasn't in first place throughout the whole day, then all of a sudden anxiety hits like, holy smokes, what did I set myself up for? But all of all that ends well. Uh, won the world championships, got the girl. So, um, and the support has been crazy. Now, w- what's next for you? Uh, well, November 24th, I'm raising money for JDRF at uh, the Powerade Center. Right. Uh, doing some feet to strength, flipping cars, lifting bleachers full of people. Anybody who wants to see me can come down right. free of charge. And, and if, I you're, if you're successful there, Ryan, will you ask another girl to marry you? <laughs> I'm just stressed out the flag. No, no, no. All right. No, sir. And then uh, the World Championships in Scotland next year. I'll defend my title. Beautiful. All right. Well, when are you getting married? Um, we're probably thinking sometime in 2013. <laughs> okay. Uh, what a guy. Uh, I'm going to propose to you in front of the whole world. <laughs> But listen, don't try and nail me down on a date, okay? Like sometime around 2013. Keep in mind I'm in training. That's right. That's right. I'm sure she's got more input than I do on the wedding dates and stuff. Boy, you think you got pressure on you now. What do you become a husband? You said it. All right. What do you try to bench press responsibility, Ryan Lapidat, every single day? And by the way, you're never going to be able to say, I don't feel like taking out the garbage. Because she knows it's no problem for you. You can take out everybody's garbage. I will be getting asked to move. As a matter of fact, you can lift the garbage truck and put it on your lawn to make the walk shorter for the sanitation engineer, Ryan Lapidette. This is right. All right, my friend. Good luck. Thank you very much. Seem like a great guy. So you're at the JDR Center. You're you're lifting things for charity. November 24th. Look up Ryan yep. Lapidat on Google, JDRF Powerade Center. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you very much. All right, what a great guy. I like that guy. Didn't he seem like a good guy?